Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to another FAQ Monday. If you have a question, feel free to leave them down below in the comments or go to my links and go to the Ask FM thing to do it anonymously, which we all like being anonymous, right? You suck, I hate you, you're fat. <laughs> I'll be right down, mom. <sighs> right? Huh? I'm not calling you guys trolls, but I'm saying that's what why trolls like being anonymous. Let me let me be real with you. Not you guys, the trolls. Not you guys. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Now it's gotten weird. Super awkward. How about we answer a question with the magical words? First question. Do you still use those JBL LSR 308s as your monitors? I do not, good sir or ma'am. I recently switched those out for some Neumann KH120s. I'm about to have the fine folks at Vacoustic USA outfit this entire room and make it all super professional and pretty with fine woods and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, using, using $200 or $300 pair of monitors didn't really make much sense if I was going to properly treat my room. So I stepped up to Neumann monitors and they were they came highly recommended from my good buddy, Jason Frankhauser, who likes them. My uncle Mike, who is a sound engineer on the Microsoft Connect, uh, they use them because it has a very low distortion uh, rating because you know every speaker has a distortion rating. Every speaker has a little bit of distortion uh, that's measurable and the Neumanns were the lowest out of every monitor available to mankind. Microsoft apparently they tested everything from you know basic M audio MV40s or AV40s all the way up to like $65,000 you know center channel you know six foot tall reference speakers and things like that and the Neumanns came out on top as far as distortion characteristic and evenness in response goes. So I got them and I absolutely love them and all of my mixes are translating beautifully now because they're just, they're, the response on these things was just so even and you guys have only heard maybe one at this, at the time of this filming, maybe one or two things that have been mixed on these monitors because I'm, I'm always mixing so far ahead for making the video so far ahead. But uh, expect my stuff to sound, start sounding real good. Hey Fluff, I know you like the Mesa 50 Cal Plus. Are there other high gain amps that you consider underrated or sleepers? I personally put the Crank Stuff and the Crank Blue Voodoo in that category, but what do you think? The Crank Stuff is cool. The Blue Voodoo was actually a really cool amp back in the day. Uh, other sleeper amps that come to mind are like the PV Valve King, definitely a sleeper amp. Any of the solid state Randalls, I would consider a sleeper amp because not a lot of people consider those to be super awesome heads, but even the modern RGs or even the old RGs are super fantastic. Uh, the Mesa Boogie Nomad is a fantastic sleeper amp that I highly recommend anybody get. Um, there's been a few other ones, um, older ones, you know, the, the PV VTM 120 and the PV VTM uh, 60. Those uh, can be had in Craigslist for super, super cheap. Um, yeah, I think those are, are a good start for sleeper amps. You know, you can find all those for really, really inexpensive. And uh, if you do find any of those, especially the Maze Boogie Nomad, grab it because chances are uh, it's going for really, really cheap. I mean, I've seen them go for you know, $400 for a head. Um, absolutely amazing amp and get any of those. If you find any of those, VTM, Nomad, Valve King, get it. You'll thank me later. Your opinion on Smashing Pumpkins? Love the Smashing Pumpkins, they were uh, a huge, huge deal to me when I was younger. Billy Corgan was was my hero for a couple of years, hence why you still see my Strat here with his approved uh, lace sensor pickups. The red in the bridge, the silver in the middle, and the blue in the bridge, just like he did on his 57 Strat that was painted silver with the, the black bats. Oh man, I used to just fiend after that guitar for, for many, many years and you'll even see some silver. You can see some silver uh, around the neck joint on the body where I actually did the same thing in like 1995 when I was a kid. That's what that's from. Um, Smashing Pumpkins really taught me how to, to bring it down, to, to, to pull it back, 
and then get really big again. And I don't think any other band really did it quite like the Pumpkins did. Um, and it's a shame they broke up and now he's gone all super weird, but uh, you know, 90 Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream, Gish, uh, Melancholy and Infinite Sadness. I was there and enjoying all of it when it was happening and oh man, what huge tones. Big Muffin, uh, Marshall JCM 800. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna replicate that one of these days and I'll be doing some fuzz pedal shootouts for Dunlop and I plan on using the Strat and maybe the Marshall and I have a, oh, you can't see it. I have a Marshall 412 right behind this chair. I recently got a Marshall 412 and it sounds incredible and I'll use that combination for the fuzz shootout. Anyway, yeah, Smash Pumpkins rule. This week, my suggestion to you is to check out Dragonheart Picks. I don't know if you can see that. I'll make a cut shot too. Dragonheart Picks uh, saw what I had said about my bass tones and my picks about the Gravity Pick, the Gravity uh, Razor XL that I, uh, have used for a long time. And they sent me a couple of these picks that are ha have a different uh, material makeup. It's uh, slightly different from each other. And I really like them for bass. Now I'm, I'm sticking with my old techs, my tried and true uh, Dunlop picks for the guitar. But these things for bass are amazing. They feel really great and they don't have that harsh picky sound but still retain the attack of a harder pick. Um, super, super cool. Link down in the description if you guys wanna check these out. I just thought you guys should uh, really know about these. Um, I like them a lot and they feel really good in the hand. And yeah, they super rule. At any rate, that is all the time I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fluff and I'll see you next time. What? Want me to do something?